This video is brought to you by the Deck of Many and their Big Bad Booklet series, and by the Roll for Combat Actual Play podcast and their Agents of Edgewatch Adventure. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Here at Gallant Goblin HQ, located, currently at least, in Southern California, it's getting a bit chilly outside. I know quite a few of you are probably taking advantage of the cold to set the scene for your Icewind Dale Rime of the Frost Maiden adventures. Or maybe you're like me and going into year three of your Storm King's Thunder campaign. Either way, this box may end up being very useful to you. This is the new boss box from the Epic Encounters line by Steamforge Games. This is Caverns of the Frost Giant. Many thanks to our friends at Steamforge Games for sending us this set to review. If you saw our review of their first boss box featuring a red dragon, you know this set features a fully assembled, unpainted mini, maps, and a guidebook on how to run a fun, unique, and cinematic encounter with a frost giant. This box can also serve as a follow-up to their last minion box, Hall of the Orc King, which we recently reviewed here. So I've got really high hopes for this set too. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Let's start with the star of the show, our Frost Giant Mini. And let me say, this is one of the most intricate minis I have in my collection. Just a few of the details I want to point out. You can see the scowl on his scarred face and the axe that seems to be embedded in his abdomen. He's also got swords impaled into his legs. He's got trophies of his kills, including skulls and broken weapons tied to his belt and his arms. And he's got an entire deer strapped on the back of his belt. For socks, he's just roped a bunch of wolf carcasses up to his ankles. This mini is amazing, and when I have some time to breathe, I'm definitely going to paint him up. He comes unattached to a gargantuan-sized 4x4 base. Here we can see him next to several WizKids Frost Giant minis for comparison. Your standard 5E Frost Giant comes on a huge size base, but there is a stat block included in the book here for a gargantuan sized glacial Frost Giant with legendary actions. We'll talk about him more in a minute. As you can see, our Steamforge Frost Giant towers above our other Frost Giant minis, making him perhaps a good fit for a Frost Giant boss character, like Yorl Starvald from Storm King's Thunder, who doesn't currently have an official mini. Also included in the set is a double-sided map that's 16 and a half by 23 inches. Both sides feature a winding set of frost caverns, as you might imagine. One side shows an entrance to the caverns with sunlight shining in from the outside, and the other side has hallways leading to a central chamber. There are several features of the map that are detailed in the booklet, including dangling icicles that can be brought down by a well-aimed attack, uh, crevices in the ice that players or enemies may slip and fall into, and larders in the icy walls containing the preserved bodies of the Frost Giant's victims, stored until he's ready for his next meal. The Frost Giant has some Grim Fang Orc minions at his disposal. You can get the minis for them in their last minion box set, Hall of the Orc King. But if you don't have that set, this box also includes 12 cardboard tokens you can use instead. And it includes the stat blocks for the Grim Fang Orcs as well. There are also six tokens that you can use to mark traps on your map. The minion tokens are black on the back, while the traps feature an icy scene on the back. Now, the booklet recommends placing the trap tokens face down on your map, letting the players know a trap is present, but not the nature of the trap. They'll have to discover that themselves with a successful perception check. It's up to you if you want to play it that way, of course. What I might do is place them down on the map if a player has a high passive perception, or if they search for traps and get kind of a middling result. Then they get the back of the token. They can choose to investigate more closely at their own risk, or they can sling a Grim Fang Orc or or their annoying bagpipe playing bard into the unidentified trap just to see what happens. Maybe it's a spiked pit or wall darts or a falling net. Finally, we have the booklet itself, which is about 30 pages long and fully illustrated. The book is very similar to the Red Dragon book from the last boss box. It doesn't detail a specific named Frost Giant with his detailed plan for world domination, but gives you everything you need to know about Frost Giants in general, plus extra options that you can use to customize your Frost Giant encounters. So this is not a set or a booklet that you'll use just once. You can use different aspects of the guide in each of your 
of Frost Giant encounters. For example, you have a variety of plot hooks from the giant stealing a relic of a forgotten god to a Frost Giant seemingly causing winter to never end for a nearby village. And you've got environmental effects that you can choose between from icy caverns that seem to reflect the light into the character's eyes to an icy mist that's hanging around in the air and clinging to the character's armor, slowly encasing them. A lot of the Frost Giant lore is provided as well, and lore that goes beyond what is presented in the Monster Manual, but which is consistent with what we know about 5e Frost Giants. The book further details options and results about how the players may approach the cavern challenge depending on if they take a frontal assault or a tactic advance, or if they attempt to lure the Frost Giant out of his cavern entirely. Finally, we get to the Frost Giant boss encounter itself. As I alluded to earlier, we get a variety of Frost Giant stat blocks, from a young Frost Giant calf with a CR of 8, to a huge sized Frost Giant moraine with a CR of 13, to a legendary gargantuan glacial Frost Giant with a CR of 17. The Frost Giant's usual attacks are augmented by several options it can use in its cavern, like pulling a chunk of ice off the wall to use as a shield, or imbuing his great axe with frost magic to make it supernaturally cold. And there are specific layer abilities as well, like unleashing a horde of orc minions, or using his great axe to send gemstones and icicles down on the players from the cavern ceiling, or just bringing the whole roof down on top of them. And just like the red dragon box, my favorite section of this book is a selection of four cinematic moments that you can use to reshape the entire battle. I don't, I don't really want to spoil them for you, but I'm going to give you just one. So you can have the giant advancing slowly toward the party, and he's dragging his hands across the icy floor of the cavern, gathering up this huge boulder of ice and dirt that he can just roll toward the party Indiana Jones style. The best thing about this booklet is that every action includes what you need to know mechanically about the attacks and the actions, but it also just really focuses on the visuals, the sounds, and the reasoning behind why the giant would take certain actions, how the giant feels and reacts to different types of intruders and confrontations. I was never particularly happy with the giant stat blocks in the Monster Manual, as it seemed like all the giants could really do was bring down their weapon or hurl rocks from a distance. If you use this booklet to run an assault on a frost giant, it should surprise your players with all sorts of unique attacks that really take advantage of the terrain of the ice cavern. Plus, if you follow the recommendations they provide you, the battle should play out differently at the beginning when the frost giant is overconfident than at the end when an it's in a frenzied rage and just trying to survive. Overall, once again, Richard August and his team at Steamforge Games have made an awesome box set that should really serve you well if you want to run a Frost Giant encounter. And it should give you some ideas about how to liven up your other encounters. I know I'm hesitant to go off book, as it were, with monsters when I'm playing D&D and Pathfinder, but when you can allow your creatures to make creative use of their abilities and take advantage of the terrain features around them, it really brings the game to life. The battle is much more interesting when your players don't really know what this massive creature is capable of. And keep in mind that while this set is heavy on atmosphere and role playing, it's expected that you'll mostly be bringing your own story. Maybe you're fighting a big bad from a pre-published adventure like Icewind Dale, or running a frost giant boss of your own invention. This set will help supplement that story. Plus, man, this mini is just fantastic. If I can find some painted versions of it online over the next few months, I'll share them with you on our Twitter and Instagram accounts. And if you pick up this box and you paint the mini yourself, please post a picture and tag me so I can share it around. Epic Encounters, Caverns of the Frost Giant should be hitting store shelves at the end of November 2020 for an MSRP of $39.95. It should be available through Steamforge's web store, at other online retailers, or at your local game store, though you'll probably want to check with them to ensure that they can order it for you. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comment section down below. Many thanks again to Steamforge Games for sending us this set to review with you. We also want to thank our two sponsors for this video. First, the Deck of Many and their Big Bad Booklet series. Similar to the Epic Encounter boxes, each Big Bad Booklet gives you everything you need to run a new boss encounter each month. But the Big Bad Booklet really focuses on that story, with a unique villain each month with its own particular agenda. 
This month, come meet Gix, a giant vulture who enjoys collecting the bones of legendary heroes. Will your skeleton end up in his sprawling ossuary? Find out by subscribing like I do at BigBadBooklet.com. And many thanks to the folks at the Roll for Combat Actual Play podcast, officially sponsored by Paizo. They're currently running the first book of their Agents of Edgewatch adventure, and they're also continuing their trek through the Extinction Curse adventure path in their Three Ring adventure series. Each of their series has a unique feel, but maintains that high level of audio quality and editing that's so important when you're listening to a podcast, especially if you like to binge listen like I do. Check them out today at RollForCombat.com. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you hit the little like button down there. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. I'm doing more and more live unboxings and chats on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you have any of those and you want sneak peeks of what we have in store for you, go follow us on your app of choice. Stay safe, have fun, love each other, have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Mm -hmm.